to visit the fields of gold. All right. Now, typically, archers are like my favorite in uh, games to play as. Because I like being able to stand far away from the action and killing things at a distance. Oh, Bianca has like this cool backflip that she does. Very nice. I also like if you hold down her attack, you can aim it. Man, it's kind of hard to see the slime through the tall grass. You bitch! I'm trying to heal your... Don't kneel in the tall grass. There we go. But I just like staring at Mera. Sorry. <laughs> Those attacks didn't hit anything. Did everything die? Everything should have died from that. <laughs> bubbles! Time for the bubbles. I love the sound effect of her wand. She's like a Disney princess. Bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh. The pain's sorta of kicking in, so my brain is not registering what I'm doing at the moment. I need to go take my medicine. I will after this video. Which is mostly just gonna be me probably saying the word bubbles a whole lot. I just love going to the Oh, even her angry face is so adorable. As compared to Jessica's, who looks, I mean, still pretty, but like raging mad. It's the eyebrow placement.
Boomy, boomy bubbles. I want to see her goop to coop de gras, but er, takes such a long time for her to get it up. <laughs> Weird thing to say about a girl. This grass is too tall. Somebody needs to mow it. That's a lot of slime! Yeah, Miracle Moon and Maelstrom kind of work together. Because Maelstrom draws enemies in, and the Miracle Moon kills them with the Sailor Moon Boomerang. Surprise Sailor Moon did not sue. Because that is so obviously the Sailor Moon's attack. And uh, out. Sexy beam the whole lot of them. Frozen flying. Got it. All right. Okay, so I, yeah. Nair is the closest to using her coup de grace. Uh, charge your power, Nera. That will only take maybe like a minute. I do like how she raises her uh, weapon instead of doing the weird grunting thing that most of the other characters do. And... Got it! You're about to see the Brisk Briscotti family line. Ah, she's just a cute cute! Ah, I guess I'll just have to kill these ones. I told you to leave me alone! <laughs> I love how she hit that. Big bang Big bang attack! So, it's possible that Vegeta visited a Dragon Quest planet and impregnated someone. Possibly a Synthian. That's how we got Dragon Quest V. I promise to try even harder next time. Aww. You don't need to try harder. You were already the best. Second best to your sister. But since she's not here, you're the best. So is that enough dead slimes for this quest? Yeah. The kingdom needs your help. Time for the applause, 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 as Lady Gaga would say. Somebody really hated slimes. Well done. Take care. What do you want to talk about? Excellent. Yeah, you don't get Maya immediately. She's the last... Well, and Sorrow. Sorrow is a DLC, but in the, uh, the West, we pretty much got him for free. But, uh, yeah. I think after this, we go to a tower, and then we pick up Maya. And... Then you don't get sorrow automatically, you have to win a fight against him. Hey! Talk with your mouth, not your hand, Aurora. The goddess. The legend Zoo and D tell 
that this fearsome beast slumbers deep beneath the earth. Hmm. I see. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I feel you too, Aurora. <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, yeah, they go back to the capital and they find out that the tree is being attacked. Or I thought we were going back. Ah. Uh, Where's the plot? I thought we were going back to Aurora. I'm confused. Where are we going? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we go back to Arba? Going to Arba is the quest. I don't see anything that says story. Maybe I have to talk to more people. Ah, uh, you've got to talk to Elena. Okay. Captain! <laughs> I'm sure there are some walls we can give you to knock down. There's lots of Yggdrasils. A whole lot of them. <laughs> well, except for in Dragon Quest VIII. That, that's the Tree of Sticks. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite puns. Premium! Great, I hope this cutscene isn't also as messed so up as the other one. Greater speed than boring old balloons. Huh? So you've flown in a hot air balloon before then, have you? Mm-hmm. But it was a cramped and unspacious experience. <laughs> unspacious experience. <laughs> I love this part. She's so cute. <laughs> Let's give Kirill a heart attack. He's truly essential to travel at such excessive altitudes. Ah, uh, give me a break. Don't tell me you're scared of heights, too. Fear not, Kira. Uh. I have devised the perfect strategy to combat your fear of high places. First, Aww. you must take the hand of a fair maiden and bask in the joy this brings. You're then, not a fair maiden. And only hey, look, everyone. <laughs> Is that it over there? Ah, indeed. The incomparable castle of Arba and above it Yggdrasil, symbol and protector of our mighty realm. Hmm? This is bad. Huh? The world tree! My goodness, it's... Oh no, the world tree is suffering from war. Ah. Hmm. <sighs> Yggdrasil's crown. Okay. What? The monsters wreck the altar. Yggdrasil will die. Hmm. Captain! We are without time to speculate. It is time to kill more monsters. Right. Excellent! For Arba! My fist itch from an infection. <laughs> and time to end this video. Ta-ta for now.